Hi, this is Marie Wheeler. I will be doing an underpainting of loose hydrangeas. Um, one of the items I want to show you that I use is a golden glazing liquid. I use it a lot in my colors. It extends the drying time and it also makes it more transparent. I'm using a larger brush, a one inch brush. I use the same brush throughout. I'm doing it on an already toned background with some um, golden colors uh, that I had that I also use the glazing medium and just brushed it on so I'd have an undercut, underpainting, I mean undercolor. I am using my brush to just lightly uh, draw in or shape in my hydrangeas. This isn't a big design because it's just a small little piece. Um, I'm using the brush to lightly just go back and forth and, and um, using transparent colors. I used Ultramarine Blue and Elixir mixed in with the glazy medium. If you put the um, Transparent color down first is a lot easier to put it opaque on top because the opaque can um, it's cover the elixir and give uh, not elixir the transparent colors and give it more um, dimension. So I'm just I picked up some cerulean blue and mixed it in with some yellow and making some green and um, I keep using that glazy medium it. And the colors I used were um, transparent colors. Cerulean blue is a transparent color. I'm putting shapes in <clears throat> of the flowers. I'm not particularly caring. <clears throat> excuse me, not caring of you know what the shape looks like. I've taken a gray. It's a number five neutral gray by Golden. Sometimes I mix my own, but it comes out of the tube too. I use it. Um, I'm doing the shape of the vase. I don't care if it goes over the flower right now. It's just a shape. And I did use the, um, I keep picking up that glazing medium. And then I'm putting some of that gray in there too. As you can see, I'm just kind of spreading around. I don't, I'm not making it muddy, but it doesn't care. I don't care that much because it's under underpainting of it. But so we'll have different colors. If you see the picture on top, it's got a blue background. This one, I'm going to be using reds and, and blues, which will make it a purple. So it's going to have purple undertones eventually. I'm doing another layer on top of the leaves. So I picked up a, a lighter color of to make a green. I don't know why I picked up that red right there. It was a mistake. So I'm going to clean my brush off. Um, I wanted a darker green, but that was too much red. Because what I'm doing is I'm just making the shapes of different colors of the leaves. Same brush, I'm using it lightly, like I said, and I'm going back and forth in movements. I don't, it's nothing as particular looks like a leaf. And they're just little shapes that I have of different colors. And I will be adding lighter on top. And then if you notice, I don't have a background yet. My background is I put it in a lot of times the last because I will do a loose background with the glazing medium and push my shapes in with it with the brush and the background. So I'm adding some blues to it too. Because remember I said the blues and the reds are going to make purple. <clears throat> so it's giving it a shape. It's putting some dark undertones around it. Um, and eventually I will be putting white on top and not white white till the very end so I picked up some white I'm using the glazing medium and I'm adding a little bit of blue so this is like I said just under painting of the loose hydrangeas I did paint the whole thing I thought it was being filmed and it cut off so I almost deleted this but I decided you know what I'm just going to show um, it's okay I'm just going to show you how I do the beginning of it and you'll see it that you can see at the beginning of this uh film beginning of this video excuse me that um the completed piece with me doing the background and adding the whites on it so i like i said keep picking up you can actually take that glazing medium and take a palette knife and mix it but i just do it along the way the last top coat that i'll put on i don't use the glazing medium i keep it thick i use the color just like it is you know mixed together without being um transparent or um with the uh, gel, the glazing medium. So you see, they're starting to be shapes. It's really a dark color. This is the ugly stage. I mixed more of a green with a yellow in it. And I will also use cerulean blue and have some touches of blue in it. Um, that it still doesn't look very well. I'll probably put some in the center of it. And 
uh, I will trim this in black. If you see the picture on the top, I like to do like little floating frames and have a shadow shown. So I will trim in black and in gold at the very end. Uh, I'm mixing some more of the white, a little more pure white, but it still has that glazing medium. And if I take my brush, like if you look at my hydrangeas, a lot of them are, they're different. It depends how much I move that paint, light touch all the time. I'll take my brush, go back and forth. What size brush I use. Um, yeah. And how much I want the top layer to show. Because I can move, like, if you see that one, it's really, it's all kind of blended really nice. There's not really a lot of heavy paint on the top. And see how I'm, like, peaking white? It's giving it a shape now, and it's keeping that dark in there. Right now it kind of looks like little ice cream cones. But it will come together. <clears throat> I'm picking up some more gray and some white. And um, I had some glazing medium. And what I'm doing, I'm just going to go back and forth. If this was a bigger piece, you'd be able to see all the different movements of the paint. But as you notice, I don't cover everything. I'm going to kind of shape my little flower a little bit there. Push it up. And light touch. Same one-inch brush. I use a two-inch, one-inch, and a one-and-a-half, basically, are the bigger brush that I use for a looser. <clears throat> And then I'm going to go back and probably pick up some, mix up another yellow color, which is blue. I'm doing cerulean and some yellow. If you see, I have two different kinds of yellow there. One is a, a cooler and one is a warmer. One is more opaque. One is more transparent. So I'll make totally different colors. And I wanted to tone it down a little bit, so I picked up some gray. <clears throat> and I'm just going back and forth. This won't look like anything until I, I shape it to what I want to shape. And I don't ever make leaves, my personally. I barely like make leaves that look like leaves. So, this is pretty much it. I just add some more greens in here. Does, and so this is what the...